Victims are being remembered in Las Vegas this morning as authorities continue to investigate why a gunman opened fire on a crowded music festival. The carnage has now led to a rare agreement over gun control between Republicans and Democrats. Seth Lemon has the latest. Mourners in Las Vegas lit candles for Charleston Hartfield overnight, the off-duty police officer killed in Sunday's mass shooting. 58 white crosses now line the Las Vegas Strip, a tribute to all the concert goers killed by Stephen Paddock that day. Investigators are still trying to figure out what led the 64-year-old to open fire at the Route 91 Harvest Music Festival. Officials say he may have had his eyes on other outdoor events with large crowds. They say he booked but never checked into a hotel room in Chicago overlooking the Lollapalooza Music Festival. Same goes for rooms overlooking another festival in Las Vegas and around Boston's Fenway Park. Until they, they, they can actually completely complete this investigation, we're not going to know what he was what was on his mind. The massacre in Las Vegas has some Republicans here on Capitol Hill open to the idea of banning the piece of equipment the gunman used to make his semi-automatic gun fire like a fully automatic one. Democratic Senator Dianne Feinstein has already introduced legislation that would ban the import and sale of bump stocks. House Speaker Paul Ryan thinks Congress should consider the idea. Uh, fully automatic weapons have been um, outlawed for many, many years. This seems to be a way of going around that. On Thursday, the NRA also signaled its support. Seth Lemon for CBS News, Capitol Hill.